Hi everybody. So I was trying to get a few things taken care of before I took off for Miami. And uh, one of them is a double needle pointed side uh, front and back clutch. And I had this uh, epiphany today and I'd really like to thank uh, Sarah for letting us, me, uh, use this for a video because otherwise I wouldn't have thought of this. So somebody had written to me and said, why don't you just sew your, mach I'm guessing they meant machine, sew my lining in versus hand sewing it in. And I was like, well, I don't really, number one, know how you would do that when the way that I do clutches is different. But also, um, aside from machine sewing through the face of the lining was the only way I could think of that they would do it. Now I'm sure you guys have a way that you do it. I am not really adept at doing uh, machine work. I am definitely not a skilled seamstress. Uh, as you can see with my videos, I tend to do a lot of hand work uh, because it just makes sense to me. I, and it, it it's engineered a little differently. And so, and you know my compulsion about not turning needlepoint right side out. Uh, putting the wrong sides together, sewing it, and then flipping it because it basically unblocks it. And so, um, oh, the struggle with pillows that I have um, because I just, I love to make sure that it's it stays really nicely blocked and for as long as possible. So today we're going to do um, a lighter weight interfacing. Uh, it's I'll have to look up the number of it again. I use it in the leaves so you can find the information uh, should be on the leaf supply list. Um, but w one of the advantages of being able to put the two sides together the way that I do using the interfacing, wrapping it around like we do for uh, eyeglass cases and things like that is that I think that we can actually sew the lining on and not, <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it. So I'm just gonna show you. Okay, ready, set, go. So here are our two pieces. All right, we're gonna set aside the first, the back. Now the one thing with this front and this back is I'm going to make sure that all of my arrows are um, facing down when I put the back on. All right, and we're going to make sure that our zipper stop is at the right end so it pulls from left to right. So when you open it, it pulls in that direction. Um, it's just something that I was asked to do one time. And so I figured, well, it probably is easier to do it that way. Hmm. So instead of using your left hand, unless your left hand is your dominant hand. And then it's easy for you anytime. Okay, so I'm hoping by not doing it like in the middle so sometimes what I do is I buy a really uh, much longer zipper than I need and then I take off the stop and I put it down further down so that we can once it's all put together because then that way we can utilize uh, the length and unzip this all the way so when we're sewing so uh, 
as I'm speaking, I'm telling myself exactly what I want to know in the thought process. And so we are going to pin this and forgive the cracked and chipped <laughs> lovely white nails. It's like, oh my gosh. Uh, but busy, busy trying to get the heck out of here. All right. So I think, so I'm going to do one, two, three stitches away. All right. Just. Now, if this works, I am going to be out of my mind because it will be so much cleaner looking and production wise and everything else. So I'm very excited about this. Okay. Now I'm tacking this down because first, before the material, uh, because I'll kind of be doing it blind, laying it on blindly. And, but we are flipping it and sewing it from the opposite side. So it'll be interesting to see when I try to do this on material on the back kind of a thing. Did I just mess this up? I did. I'm starting to stray. I need my pencil. One, two, three. Okay. I'm losing the stitch that I'm working from. Stitch line. Because when you pin it on, it kind of does this little shifty thing. We don't want to be, ah! boy, I am just having some issues having it stay on the right stitch line. Jump way down here. Oh, I still got to tack it there. I'm afraid it'll get ridiculous. And move under the material. Okay, so here's our material. She wanted the lighter blue that's in this. And so if I do these sides together, in theory, 
it's going to flip in and flip down flat against it and wahoo exciting times let's hope so i don't need to be as picky with this part because it should just because we're going to flip it over to sew it on the machine that's the plan again just a theory Pretty sure it'll work. Might get a little weird when we have to sew the sides together. Little, some little awkward sewing moments, but I think it'll be good. Good, good, good. Now, I don't find that it is difficult to uh, sew the lining in. Doesn't bother me. Hand sew it. But trying to get it ugh, down into where the zipper is, down in the ends, can be a challenge. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. Tip it down just a little bit so it's not glaring into the camera. So now we turn it over. Okay. And slow and steady wins the race when it comes to these zippers. Because <clears throat> if the pins make it jump, we really want to attempt to... I'm going to start a couple stitches in from the end and we're going to run it right along this first edge right first stitch pardon me while I put my extra set of eyes on I have an extra set of ears and an extra set of eyes and I'm going to go ahead a couple stitches and then go back and lock it in I'm just gonna try to this camera is right in my face and I want to get slightly closer to make sure I'm catching so this is 13 mesh and it can be a little tricky. If you're able to catch this first edge of stitching, you can sometimes get lucky that you don't have to put cording across the top. So, But if you see waste canvas, and because it's navy blue, their zipper, the potential is there that you're going to have to do that. Pull that. Hope it stays where I want it to stay. Almost went too far. Why am I worried about going too far? Because I don't want, uh, when I turn that waste canvas over and glue it onto the interfacing to hold it on the back side, I want to be able to turn those corners under neatly. Okay. 
Well, here's the tell. I was too chicken to do this live, by the way. I don't like where they put that needle chop. The thread, whatever. All right, let's throw you back down on the floor. If nothing else, I'll get an arm workout. Okay, so. Let's take a look and see how and what it did. Ooh, did I go far enough? I think so. I hope so. I don't like to have, um, if I don't end it a little early as well, you can't turn the uh, zipper inside because it's, it's sewn right to that edge. Okay, there's that. This, I still see pins hiding here. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Woo, woo, hoo, hoo. Gotta love that. Eee. Okay, calm down, Kelly. Don't get ahead of yourself. So now what we're gonna do, I think, is we're going to bend, finger press over, this top row of stitches. All right. It's probably easier if we do it kind of like this. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, yummy. Is it sad I'm this excited about it? Maybe a little, but it's the little things. It is the, the little stuff that just makes you go crazy when it comes to production and just sewing in general. Now we're going to press this down like that. Look at that. That is the inside of our lining. Don't worry. It's going to work. It's going to work. Okay. So here we go. I think what we need to do at this point is to trim up our waist canvas and trim up our everything. We're just trimming it up, getting it cut down. Don't get the zipper. Keep that. All right. I still want to leave like three quarters of an inch of waste canvas because I want a nice Long hold on it. Now, my friend that asked me on the last clutch that I did, Kelly, why don't you sew it in? If this is what I was supposed to be doing from the beginning, well, dang, I have been working way too hard. Just saying. And thanks for the help. Okay. Just like that. Now, we are going to put our dart in that corner. All right. Dart in that corner. 
And yeah, that's a big old fat tab that's just going to have to get chopped down. But at this point, I don't want to get too nuts with that, I don't think. And right to that corner. Okay, now, this is how I try to get nice corners. I know some of you do a lot of very, very intense labor to get your pointy corners. And you do all this extra sewing and everything else. Yeah, I don't do that. Pretty obvious, right? <clears throat> and I will say that there are a lot of students that get really freaked out when I do this in class. Okay, got my board up here because we are going to do a little pressing. All right. I do not want to necessarily unblock this. Uh, by steaming it too much it is getting a little shifty. It is such an optical illusion with this V pattern on it that it's kind of hard to go, hmm. Is that right? I think it's right. I think it's still square. All right. Let's bring this back. So here we go again. Chop. You know, uh, 13 mesh is notorious for being a little toady uh, when it comes to shifting out of block. So, if you struggle with it, welcome to the club. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are not losing this stitch. Please do not be afraid you're losing a stitch. You're not having a smaller purse. None of it. Okay. You're not, you're not, you're not. Don't worry about it. It's basically on the side. Okay. You can't, you only see the side of it here. I also love the part where we do this and we put it around and then we open it all back up again and all the ladies or all the, excuse me, all of the uh, students are like, wait a minute, we just spent all of that time steaming all of those darts over. What do you mean we're popping them all open? <laughs> yeah, I know. I kind of mean that way, but you know what? There's a reason why I do it. Because it makes life much easier when you go to somebody later. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Let's take this. Throw it right in here. See if it still fits. Probably not. Probably needs to be a little smaller. Correct. By See, this is what happens when you try to cut ahead and you don't wait until you turn it all under. So it should be... Nine and a quarter. And why are we doing this? Well, it's going to give us a, a little stability uh, for when we're sewing it. It's going to give it a little stability just to keep everything where we want it, hopefully in the future. But, you know, any even when I use the heavy interfacing, it doesn't really matter because um, over time, that's also going to soften as you use it. So, you know... Um, I really would like, would have liked to, uh, had all of, you know, the majority just with the needle point, like everybody else's, but, you know, where you sew it. And you reverse it out and all of that. Oh, and what should the top and bottom be now? Yeah, six and a quarter. So I gotta take a quarter inch off both ways. Yep. Hold on. I'm off screen, I know, but you don't need to see me. do this part. I have about five pairs of scissors around here. I'm going to slide this in here. And then in here, get it right under there. And I'm going to start with the top and get a bead of glue here. Don't forget to smear it out if you get too much so you don't burn yourself when you do the next part. Luckily, we have the material kind of helping hide our fingers. Yay. All right. Okay, now we do the bottom. I really want to make sure to pull this side, this bottom up. Okay. Make sure that the stitch is square across the bottom as you can get it. Everything looks great. Still looks square compared to our insert that is square. So that's good. Okay. Now. See me tugging and pulling over here. All right. Put 
pull that up so it doesn't have this little weirdo non-square corner. Okay. All right. So that you see all the same stitch there. Okay. I know you're seeing this puff. Don't worry about it. Get all that glue detritus off. Because then when we do this, it's going to come up and it'll pull against it. Pull that right up like that. And then after this, we're going to go foots around with our corners, okay? But right now, what we care about is that this edge that you can't really see gets right up there, okay? All right. <clears throat> now... I'm going to take all this little bit here. I'm actually going to kind of chop off the long ones there, which you can't see. Gotta love it. Not really. I'm going to put a nice big old schmear. I'm going to take our fingers like a V. I'm going to pull it and smash it up in there like that okay we're going to do the same thing up here goob it up with some glue and make that okay I don't think you can see what I'm doing here. I am reheating some of this glue by just setting my tip in there. Okay, so I can grab this few stitches here, make sure they get up and around. And what I'm doing when I'm doing this is I'm trying to make sure that it's square to the best of our ability. It's going to kind of change when we sew it together anyway, because we do it by hand. Okay, now, okay, okay, so now I want to cut down, so this is going to, I just traced around the edge of our bag, okay. This is our lining, right? Like this, right? But what actually, how we're actually doing it is we're coming in, oh, good grief. just like I always do, I trace around the bag to get the lining size, and then I come in a quarter of an inch. when I sew it. I'm still going to taper up like that. Okay, so we have this side set, so let's take off the excess Do 
I want to take off that much. No, let's just take off some of it. All right. Now you're thinking, uh, Kelly, this just doesn't seem like it's that great of a solution. Oh, but it is. It's just that it's the first time that I've done it. So yeah, it's just going to take me a tiny bit longer. All right. I'm only leaving it like this because I want to be able to pin it together in a minute. Okay. So here it is. This is what our lining is going to look like from the inside. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay. Still got a little wrinkle there, but turn that on. I never get it that smooth anyway, so. <clears throat> Okay, so now these going down like this. This comes up like this, okay? Oop. All right. And then I went up. One, two, three, all right? Pretty sure. All right. I think the key for this now is we have to also make sure that we keep our uh, piece sort of lined up, sort of, at the top corners. Okay, it's sort of because what happens is it's going to shift, uh, it's going to look smaller because we've already wrapped it around the uh, interfacing, so now it is smaller than the original one. Okay, so this is where, right, hold on, my iron's finally hot again. Let's try to get that so that it's doesn't have that weird little I need to stop obsessing about this. Okay, moving on. Pins. Oof. Okay. Ready? Like I said, we're just trying to sort of keep, in general, these. Okay, don't worry about down here. It'll all come together in the end. But on this corner, that's correct. On this corner, that's correct. Which you can't see there because it's... Okay, they're right to it. All right. So now we're going to tack this down, the zipper down, like we did the first time. Okay.
and there. Now, like I said, um, it's going to be a little different when we use material, probably not a lot, you know, like a material backing. Uh, so we'll have to make a few accommodations. Now, I did make the lead line um, cut straight so that I could sort of line it up when I did this um, with the grain on the fabric. It doesn't have a lot of a grain, but it has enough of a uh, weavy pattern to it that I want to make sure it sort of gets that way. Yeah, that makes sense. Stays straight. Now, um, it's at this point that I'm going to let you know once I get the lining sewn, and I get the pins, uh, the sides pinned down. Sorry guys, but I am going to go home to finish sewing it because I'm going to be gone for a couple weeks or uh, 12 days, something like that. And uh, I know my dog would like to see me for a few minutes tonight before I go. So, uh, but don't worry. I'll do a follow-up video for this uh, with <clears throat> where I do a complete one with a shaped eyeglass case. This is something I am putting into practice. So, oh my goodness, here we go. Move this back a little like this. Okay, that. that I guess okay and now we do the exact same thing we flip it over slow and steady okay make sure we're not sewing something we don't want to sew now it's going to be a little different because I put that flippity jibbin stuff in so maybe next time we don't put the interfacing in until we're done until we're done doing this step but I think I it would be difficult to do so we'll see how it goes I'm pretty sure it'll be fine all right and lock it Okay. But can I just say, even if we have to have a make it work moment where we cover you know, potential waste canvas, something like that, uh, with a very thin cord, which I'd really like to not have to do. Um, but we'll do. You do what you gotta do to make it look professional. I mean, that's the whole part of when you're doing something, you want it to look properly finished. Because, yeah, you know, you're, you worked hard to stitch this. You want to make sure that it is absolutely gorgeous, right? And this is how we do it. As we take our time and we do whatever it takes even if it means we have to rip things out or retwist things because you know maybe our cording wasn't as t 
tight as we wanted it. Let's go back and lock it before I go back out to that corner. And you know, I got this new machine to keep my monogram machine from dying because that's what I did all my sewing on. And let me just tell you that leaving your needle up or down option, I know there's got to be a way to negate it. Well, maybe. I find it annoying because I used to be able to time it just right. Okay. To be able to have it land in if I want it, out if I want it. Okay. Okay. Whew. I got a little worried that I put the print the wrong way. <laughs> oh yay. Okay. It looks a little odd because of the zipper and the way it's it's you know it's very stiff. Okay. I almost panicked. I'm like, wait a minute, where's the lining? Silly. I'm silly. Okay. And I think what we should do at this point, should we put that in so that it holds it? Oh, please let it be. Let it work, let it work. I got so excited that it was going to work that I got ahead of myself. Because now we still got to do the lining. Ooh. Ooh, it got a little close there. Got to be careful of that. Let's give ourselves plenty of lead room here. All right. So one of the challenges, major challenges, with stripes and patterns is if it gets a little shifty, it can be pretty obvious. Um, and we do our best. Uh, even if we got to come back and do a little what I call finger blocking, uh, that's what we try to do. And... I'm just putting my darts in because I'm going to steam this over. Now, why am I doing this now? Because I need these two pieces to stick out parallel. I got to put these two pieces back to back so that these lay as flat together as possible, if that makes sense. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Let's hope, let's hope I'm doing this in a good way. Because, yeah, don't want this to be all for naught and have to rip this apart because I'm going to be gone. And it's going to be a very long night if I have to do that. Okay, why is it you always get sick? Because I was really sick last week. Um, when you got too much to do. <laughs> always, always, always. It's just how it is, right? If we weren't, you know, running with our hair on fire all the time, I don't know. I'm sure that uh, 
Many of you don't have that in your life. I'm just pulling off my little corner bits. Okay. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down because we know it needs to be a quarter inch smaller. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not going to steam it this time. Well, why not, Kelly? Because this is laying over pretty nicely. And I just don't think we need to. All right, that is quite interesting. like that. Now, like that. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Why did I just do that? Because I need to square this side up. Welcome to, oh, you know what I better do first? Let's get this finger pressed over. Like that. Give me a second. I'm waiting for the iron. It went to sleep because I'm slow. Uh, it is kind of dark here, so come on, come on, come on. Heat up, heat up. Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys all had a great day. Oh, there it goes, as soon as I start to talk. It's like, oh, I'll wake up as long as you stop talking. Why am I doing that? I'm trying to get the five, the sizing to cool quickly. All right, and then come in here. Sorry, but I know that I put a big dollop there and it was going to be ugly on my fingers and I'm sorry I don't need to cry tonight mm -hmm. like that just like that okay so now nice and square on this side
that. Now I'm gonna pull that up. That. A bit dry too quickly. Ay, 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 ay. I burn my fingers because not all of them are asbestos. Close, but not all. Not the fatty under parts. Okay, there's that. Let's do this corner. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, yeah, time to sew again. Seems like I'm doing a lot more um, machine sewing, but not really. You end up having to do this no matter what. Oh, look, I can see that it's perfect. I'm so excited. All right. How do I? want to make sure that our lining is all nice and even when we pin it together. I think Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Nope, nope, nope. Better. Better. So if we lay this under here and we bring the edge of that right and butt it right up to where the other needlepoint and interfacing is that sort of it's almost not thick enough two let's do two yes there we go now that puts that at the same level height at least enough of one Hopefully. Better idea. I'm going to flip it like this, right? And like that. There you go. There. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I can feel it right under there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, and this shifts this way a little, like that. Perfect. Yes! Now pin it together like this. Now, why am I so excited? So the other way, I'm afraid that it would leave like this big gap. 
and I don't want that. And I don't care if this looks a little out of shape. Okay, hold on. Okay, sorry, I had to take that call. So I got it all pinned around the outside. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop these two sides together, right? And we're going to get that sewing machine back up here and see what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> I know one trouble that we need. Lighter thread. I don't like putting a super dark thread there. And of course, I don't I think I'm just... You know, the problem is, is I have two different bobbins that I have to use on these, on my monogram machine and this machine. And of course, I do not have one flippity jibbin bobbin, bobbin that has the pale blue. So what I'll do is I'll try to be sneaky and use white and blue. All right. Boop. You guys, you just don't even know how excited I am about this because I feel like uh, when I'm trying to do the whole, um, So in, oh sugar, that is the wrong bobbin. After all that talk, I grabbed the wrong one, and that one's too dark. So white, here you go. So, um, I mean, uh, doing it the first time always just, it just takes time. And so, you know, I don't want you to think, ugh, that's a lot of steps. I'm not going to do that. But I have this really great feeling that not only is it going to look more fabulous when you open it up and look absolutely 900 times more professional, um, just because... You know, when you're trying to get, go back and forth under the zipper and everything else, it's tough. Oh, there it goes, finally. Wow. Huh. I didn't have my extra eyes on. Who has the extra brain? Because... I definitely need that. Or a keeper. One of the two. You know, this is a lot darker than I thought it was. So, do I want to start up here or do I want to come at it? All right. So which end is the, so this end is the closed zipper end. So we really want to try to get it up here, close-er. All right. So maybe we sew up into it. Let's try that. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we'll go this way. Oop, foot down, silly. All right. Let's lock it. No, 
No laughing. I'm probably going to have to do like ramming speed to get up in there. Can hardly see. And then I'm going to lift my foot a little. Here's hoping. Okay. You know, even if we got to do a little fudging on it and hand sewing on it, I still think that that's a better deal. All right. Let's try to drop it down on this side. See if we lift up our foot. If that is a little better. I don't know. You know, sewing machines and I love hate, hate love. I love them mm, to an extent. Sometimes I feel like they're it's just tolerating me. Like, ugh, this woman, she knows nothing about how to do nothing with me. Uh, 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 what's going on? I might have to come back up over that. Now, we want to make sure to close up a corner because you don't want any, you know, important things popping through a hole. I am going to come, even though it's difficult, back up this side. Meh. It's good. <gasps> Excuse me. Hmm. I don't know what that's all about. Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay. All right. Now. You're going to think I'm a little weird for a few things that I'm about to do. Well, you guys always think I'm weird, so, you know, nothing new. You're going to go, that's just you, Kelly. It's all right. I take it. I'll own that one. So I'm coming right up next to my seam. And up to here. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. This looks great, I hope. Okay. I'm going to dog ear that or just chop it off, whatever you want to call it. I'll deal with that side in a minute when I flip it over. Okay. You know, you guys are supposed to be screaming at me, Kelly, you're off camera. Well, if I was brave enough to do this live, you could have. Okay, I got a little wobbly there with my sewing. 
but flibbity jibbit am I excited. I know. It still may not work. <laughs> Cart horse. Okay, so this is what I want to do. And the reason I'm doing the darts here is because as the purse um, opens and closes and, you know, gets used, I, I want this to not buckle along the edge. It, will it? I don't know that it will. But let's just... I'm balancing it on my thumb for some control. Okay. It's interesting, uh, when I teach in class now, uh, how I pay attention to what m my hands are doing more and how I utilize my other hand for things it is doing that just never paid attention to before. Okay. Okay. Everybody, you know, send out that good energy when I flip this over that it's all good. We're good. We're good. Will it be good? Nail biting moment. I'm having it. Because I don't know. But Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Thank you so much. So, so much for letting me use your clutch in this video. Okay. Do a little, just some little tick marks there. Because then that way, again, we have a little leeway to flip and bury if we need to and all of that. Okay. So again, we're just going to pop that over like this. Oh, please tell me I did that right. Okay. Now, I may have to do a little finger pressing with this, little iron pressing with this to make sure that my material on the inside is all good. Um, yeah. And then I gotta go finish packing my suitcases. I love that my friend Robin keeps saying, Sorry, your suitcase is packed yet? No. No, of course not. You know, I'm that person that's checking stuff in at the last minute, even when I'm close by. It was so bad when I went to one place. I got there and I realized got my jammies. It's like, ah, uh, hello. Thank goodness I brought some extra yoga pants. So, pseudo jammies. Not my regular favorite away jammies. They got Halloween dogs on them. They're so cute. Okay. So here we go. So we go like this. Ooh, I don't see any lining popping out. 
Uh. <laughs> okay, okay. Whew. All right. Okay, calm down. All right. Now, uh, when I do this, one of the things I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to... Pull these down in, okay? And I'll probably grab these little stoppers, maybe, and put them right here. I might and I might not. But this stopper will come here to stop it from going too far. So... We're going to take this and kind of tuck it and cram it in there. All right. And we're going to. Doll needle! Doll needle! This will all be a bit of a finagle the bagel in a minute. When I shove everything in there. All right. Eh. See, remember what I said about the whole zipper thing? And how you have to make sure it's far enough away when you do the stitching so that you can do this right there now this is where you got to match the pattern right you want to make sure that it's like that oof I need one of my heavy-duty pins because that was a bendy bendy soon that was terrible Okay, and we're just going to keep shoving that in. All right, let's look. Let's look. I think we're good. I want to, I think I want to come in. You can't, oh, you can see what I'm doing. Okay. I got a little heavy down at this end. Take a little, ooh, don't go too far. Cut into that stitching. That would be a problem. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. So happy. I am way too happy about this, you guys. Way too happy. Okay. I'll have to doll needle that in. Right. Right. So let's put a couple of more pins on this side because I definitely want to get this sucker open so I can see what the, uh, it's going to be a little difficult. I won't be able to see totally how it's going to lay in there until I'm able to do the sides. Uh, stitch the sides and then once it's oh once I open it that way I'll really be able to tell what the heck's going on and how it's going and if it's happy I think it's gonna be happy cuz dang if I'm not happy Ow! pardon This guy, I'm just going to tuck in like I did the other one. Cram it in there. Just got to manhandle it. Fold that 
zipper fabric down. Tuck, 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 tuck. Get in there so I can just open this up and see. And we'll have to do some more tucking around there because we'll have to finesse that as well, I am sure. Uh, the, you know, this is obviously the end. This is the end. That uh, everybody's going to look right in on. Oi, come on now. Behave. There. Yes, 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 yes. Heavy? No. It's always easier to sew it and have it be even the pattern because you can grab it and pull it together and make it behave more than less. All right. Good grief. I have jitter hands. I'm so happy. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, get in there. Which then, of course, makes it go, mm, no. So then the pattern here comes together. You know, this is the other reason why I like sewing it together by hand. Because you can really finesse. Oof, I'm on the shorty side. Every single one I'm pulling for a pin is tiny. Uh, you can really finesse the making sure that the pattern is exact. Okay. Like this. And like this. All right. And then, and then, then a long game. Now it looks a little wonky because the pin, because of the way the pins are, you know, stabbing in there, right? But. And like I said, I gotta finesse this all when I get it done. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how insane that is. So happy. I am so, so happy. So huge thank you to Sarah for the use of being the first just that aha moment for the lining and uh, well for letting me use this in this video but then secondly I want to thank the person that said why don't you sew it first because I would not have done what I just did if it hadn't been injected into my brain <laughs> so all right guys I'm going home to sew this together, pack my car, and off I will go tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me for this uh, little bit of a video, because this is not a complete video, obviously. I will be doing another one with a uh, shaped eyeglass case. It's got a little swoop at the bottom. So very exciting. So in the next few weeks, hopefully, well, a few weeks after I get back, hmm. but I will do the other one because this is going to change how I do the shapes as well. It's going to just, it's fabulous because it has a gusset and oh yeah, so cool. All right, guys, have a great night. And hopefully I'll see you at a store at class soon.